Hello brothers and sisters, part 11 and the longer last part to finish this serial. Dominique et Nick et Nick s'en allaient tout simplement aux dieux, pauvres et chantants. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, ils ne parlent que du bon Dieu, ils ne parlent que du bon Dieu. Yes! So was it with our old gods. Always something interesting happened with them. They cheated, they lied, they killed. It was always interesting to follow their stories. In the 70s, we began in Europe to import myth from the Americas, like only after the last tree has been cut down. Only after the last river has been poisoned, only after the last fish has been caught, only then will you find that money cannot be eaten. This wisdom is from the Canadian Creed. This was the Green Reformation and none of the European typical hippie cars, the Citroën 2CV, was without a sticker with this wisdom. Since every reformation has a counter-reformation, you could see as soon stickers on bigger cars stating my car works also without the forest. Only when we have eaten the last Big Mac, only when we have spent the last cent you will see that you can't eat trees. So the human being eat both. It's an interplay between science and myth. And also therefore God incurs a permanent change, a permanent facelift. Remember God of our childhood bearded controller on the window of the star's orbit who sees everything. Today? No more. Ask a priest. Today, God is more the spiritual sponsor and individually made for everyone's needs. Even if st some still struggle, the trend to a wellness religion can't be stopped anymore. This thing with eternal life, even most preachers don't believe this anymore. But religion has to bring something, has to bring something here, now, at this moment. So if we take a look at this freestyle religions, like in USA, we have to admit our principle Clovis prevails. If a faith doesn't work sufficiently, like with Clovis in the battle against the elements, another faith can and must be tried. Americans do this permanently. They have a whole supermarket of religion and everyone with their own credit card, with their own payback card, which you can cancel at any moment, if you have paid back your credit. But before you let you seduce, go first to the myth consumer test. If you want to tempt a good person to do bad things, you have to guide them to religion. And you know from whom this quote is? It's from Pope Benedict XVI, but only when he speaks about Islamists and more particularly about those converted from Catholicism to Islam. Convertites are the worst. Yes, those people who choose going to another myth on had to learn about the reason. Jews, they know that. They don't want us to become Jew and they don't want convertites. This is not possible. Try to become a Jew. Therefore, you need a Jewish mother and this might be difficult after being born. 
Many Christians don't even remember that Jesus was a Jew. Even there are four irrefutable proofs of his Jewishness. And these proofs are for the first. See, he lived 33 years with his mother. The second is, he believed his mother was a virgin for 33 years. Three, his mother told everywhere her son was our Lord. And he created a multinational business. If this is not a proof he was a Jew. Okay, fact is, people change their religions more often. Therefore, we need a um, best buy test also for religions, like car, motor and gold. So to check out how is Buddhism off-road, how is Hinduism in flow passage, how reacts Christianity on snow, has the hereafter leather seeds, or Islam compact, where is the space for the car bomb? And then there is also the searching for meaning. Yes, where leads your GPS if you type in God. Well, I tried it. Mine in my city brought me to the Red Square. Yeah, and here we are again at the beginning. The burning Giordano Bruno at the Campo del Fiore in Rome was more than only a smoke signal. In the long run, religion can't prevail science. There will be always a day when an edifice of ideas breaks down under the evidence of science. Religion is a back donation. Some of those very old back donations are no more questions. Well, let me compare it with a child play. Children have constructed with their mattresses a house. And for those children during their play, this is really a house. So they are deeply sunk in their play, in their reality for this moment. But then the parents come home and say, Ala, come on, now quick, it's bedtime, and as soon the mattresses, who were a house before, becomes now a bed again. That's not pretty for children, but so are scientists. Adam and Eve, those from Genesis, up, back in the toy box. The crazy is that just of all it was the Islam who claims this in the first place. Muhammad said every Muslim is obliged to search wisdom. Universities was created and we all benefited enormously from the seek of wisdom. But then one day came those ayatollahs and muftis and said stop everything what you have to know is written in the Quran. Science says from A follows B. They say from A follows B if Allah wants it. But what wants Allah? To have an answer from him you have to wait for a very, very long time. The result of this uh, not following Muhammad's rule is that from 1,000 scientists, only two are Muslim. So if they would, like the Catholic Church enjoyed it so much, burn the scientists, they wouldn't even have enough to make even a little fire. Oof, how can I close? Maybe with the words of Stephen Hawking. 
science will win because it works. Or maybe you want to make it uh, a bet like the French mathematician Blaise Pascal. He betted on the eternal life because if he loses, he wouldn't even notice it. Like an agnostic taking the 50-50 joker. Anyway, what's rest of God in our old Europe? It's like a spiritual household entrance. The majority who holds on God does this because maybe we're gonna need him one day or nothing can be so bad that it can't be used for something else later. I really enjoyed this serial. Please leave me, if you don't have a comment, only a little smiley here down in the comment box that your name shows up and for once I want to see who follows my videos. All my videos are Creative Commons and so free for everyone to use for mirror or for quotes or for outtakes. I will now compile the whole series together and it will be posted maybe mid next week. Thank you very much for watching. The best I can wish you is caress you and thank you very much. <laughs>